What's up, everyone? Welcome to Horizon Forbidden West Part Kartika. La 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 la. Okay. Mungkin ada konten yang berbeza dari video gua sebelumnya atau mungkin, ya, dua jam dua jam lumayan ya. Tak apa dah. Gua sudah bilang gua masa bodoh untuk kalian yang mau nonton nonton, mau enggak enggak, mau subscribe boleh, mau enggak enggak serah. Yang gua mau di video di YouTube gua muncul game Horizon, tu, okay? Ah lagunya, dah lagi continue. Ini benar gila, ini game kalau lo main satu jam doang kurang Dan gue kemarin, gue dulu main uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Itu gue mainin main gamenya aja, gue videoin, gue record Nah untuk set questnya gue gak mainin Nah Nah, uh, berbeda, gue hari ini, gue untuk uh, saat ini Horizon Forbidden West Semuanya gue mainin, makanya bakal di channel gue ini bakal ku, e, lama lah untuk e, lu ngeliat e, Horizon Forbidden West Dan gue mau menjadikan Horizon Forbidden West ini sebagai e, pertama gue yang gue kasih tau Lokasinya, tips and trick dan lain-lainnya Kenapa lu ngajak par gua? Astaga Kenapa nih kayaknya nih Si Rabbit Tangan gua ke si Rabbit temen gua Ini gua aku ini si Sen yang ini Salahkan ini Bang. Waduh, waduh. Okay. Wow. Gila sini yang ini si tanduk ini pandangannya terlalu lebar. Gue salut masih gue di sini stop. Belum lagi loh dari dia begini. Gua akui kuat tu, si siapa? Ini yang maksud ini lah, nggak jelas mana. Ya patah. Kalau nggak main kopi dan masa. Oh, 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 oh. Aw. 
Wait, sorry. Wow. Good as skill. Ah, la 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 la. Apa ya? Apa hunter? Nah, gua nggak perlu web ini deh. Ini kan gua belum dapat, belum buka itu. Kemampuan untuk Super ingredient for someone all that. Ayo lu tah. Hello. Eh ada kas saja. udah nyala ya ini dia ini ya Brad. <coughs> ya ribet. Game ini itu untuk kalau belum mau nunduk kotak, kalau mau guling-guling, oh. Belum terbiasa aja. Ya kebiasaan lagi. Hmm, enggak ribet.
Go cut him too. Some training. I set up something new while you were gone. What? What is new? Oh. Energize them. What? Now I've seen everything. Savior of Meridian wins. Oh, oh you ignoring me again. Uh, uh. Blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. Yeah. Way. Well, now they're alert. Yeah. 
You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast your armor off. That spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Ah. Uh. Uh oh. Chaz. Look at him. He got. Oh, I got that. I got that. What is happening? Whoa. Yield. I yield. What are you doing around? Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodark. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. Ah! Oh god, I want to do Lama! Lama! What is that? I'm going to do it. Ha ha ha! I'm going to do it. Ha ha ha! Okay, that's all for now, I think. Good luck out there. We are on the same side here, Ulvund. What do you want, Ulvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. 
and tell the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. 
is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> now I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Ulvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but Chainscrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh. My apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile. 
if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough meat and bitter leaf. Just need to grab a metal panel for the scrounger. like this, Kenny? Smells? We almost died because of him. <laughs> have you seen us? What are we supposed to do? Have Arnoff throw his crutch at him? What? Rain? You get loads of that here. I see you all made it back. Hammer and tongs. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. Hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olven. Have you talked to him yet? We're on the waiting list. Doesn't have the guts to face all of us at once. We need to stick together, in case he decides to send his goons over. You're all banged up as it is. I can deal with Ulva. You don't need to stick around. We know, yelled Hammer. <laughs> Just stay safe. Teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? of ammo could help here. Scroungers. Mildiff said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles.
No metal pedal. Better check another scrap pile. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. I'll keep. Agamamu apa? Agama Islam Cina. Kak, kenapa enggak Islam, Kak? Kamu goblok ya? Agamaku Cina. Oh, bagaimana ya caranya mah? Jadi Islam harus disunat, Kak. Waduh. Sunat itu apa? Dek. Enggak tahu. kakak aduh dede <laughs> eh hijau hijau receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, 
I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Ignoring me? Yeah! It might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Then oh, see what else what is coming up. your mind about that yeah, brew? You. It's a Tanakh game, but any tribe can enjoy it. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. 
So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. Damn. God dang. Yo. That yo. Ah, no deal. I'll come find you later. Next thing I know, I'm running around naked with an apple in my mouth. Penyarir, pai. Eh banyak tu kalau lewat. I've seen crystals like these before. Help! It's after me! That bristleback's gonna run him down. Back the forge you were here. Get inside until it's safe. You don't have to tell me twice. So, are you new to the dawn? Rough and rowdy here in the dawn.
Tabi. Oh. Banyak kendaraan mata gue. Terus saya nanti es Looks like some sort of quarry. Hey girl, stay back. It's too dangerous. And it's full of bristlebacks. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Dead bristleback, out of falls. Gotta check it out. Super. This green channel will fetch a price. It's strange. Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. I have charged off the cliff above. I should keep going up the trail. mine and a lot of broken trees it's like a stampede went through is this where the bristlebacks came from but how unless this cave leads out of the daunt Keep some extra on hand. Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out. 
before I can look around. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Pretty far back. Who's <laughs> the dead end? Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks too. down there. There's enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. So it's addressed to Oldland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oldland must have gotten greedy. 
kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Blew away open. And from where? But a cook can do something with this. Dead machines. A trap. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. people are. I guess they want to be left alone.
here. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Proper <laughs> if I'm going to find out where the Whistlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Wait, what? Ah, what they make about? Okay, so yeah. Oh. Ya video gua kali ini. Uh, jadi gua fokus untuk ke side quest dulu. Ini side quest dan kayaknya oh iya benar ke travel free. Oh kalau pakai ini free. Uh, ya, ya. Jadi kalau ini free ya. Kalau lu pakai yang itu bayar. Jadi lu harus harus di tempat koin di bonfire baru bisa free. Anyway, itu aja yang bisa gua sampaikan. Uh, belum bisa gua lanjutkan uh, main story-nya baru bisa main. Oh. Ah, ah. Baru bisa ngelanjutin eh uh, ya? baru bisa ngelanjutin Start story-nya aja. So, jika kalian suka dengan uh, video gua kali ini, atau kalian enjoy atau kalian mau lihat gue sih tanpa kalian ini aja tanpa kalian nyura atau apa kalian ini gue bakal mainin jadi slow aja uh, gue nggak main fast fast jadi jika gue uh, off streaming gue paling gue nyari nyari item nyari nyari uh, buat crafting baru gue main 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 misinya set quest yang lain oke okay, itu aja yang bisa gue sampaikan thank you banget kalian telah datang sampai jumpa di episode episode berikutnya dari Horizon Forbidden West. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep healthy. Yeah, semuanya jaga kesehatan. Sampai jumpa. Bye bye.